Megan Jones, you're leaving for London this evening with Kirby Park all of a sudden. He hasn't done an, an international flight or any flight for that matter, but what kind of traveller is he? He's certainly done lots of miles on the road. He's done lots of miles on the road. He's a bit of a FOMO, so fear of missing out. So we generally put him on the truck last, so he's not waiting for the others to get on the truck and he's off the truck first, not waiting for others to get off the truck and then he can come off. So he pours a little bit. He's, once he gets into the trip, he's OK, but he definitely, I was definitely concerned because he's never done a trip on his own before. This year he's been around the countryside doing events in Sydney and Melbourne and I poor one star mayor has been dragged along to every event with him just so he's got company. But yesterday we just, we just came, came over in a, a car and float and he was fantastic. He didn't pour, he was relaxed, he got off for his walk, got back on again, didn't play up. So it was actually really good. Then when he got here, all by himself, <laughs> he was freaked out then. So the guys had to bring a old, old, um, pony in to keep him company until Shane and Tim arrived. Once they arrived, they took the pony out because their horses were across the aisle way. He didn't have a friend because this little horse wasn't, wasn't here yet and he still freaked out. So he had to spend quite, quite a lot of time getting him to calm down last night. But now, now he's fine now. So once he knows he's got friends, he's totally cool. If he hasn't got friends, he's really needy. <laughs> so he'll have three other horses on the flight, so you must be feeling pretty comfortable with that. He's yes, absolutely fine. And, and the fact that we can go down and see them and, and we'll fly with them. If you're with him, he's OK. As soon as you leave him, that's when he gets upset. So have his friends. We'll be down there. I'm sure after three hours, he'll be going, what sort of fuss about? He'll be fine. Yeah. What are you going to be focusing on when you're on the flight? Looking after him, <laughs> making sure he stays happy and I've got a lot of computer work to catch up on so I can just do, do that. I'm actually going to try and read a book that was given to me by a client of mine in Victoria that writes a little bit and, and rides and she, she wrote the book when she was in, in Antarctica. So I'll read that and see how that goes and probably sleep a little bit. Do you, what do you think Floyd will make of the climate over in London? I think his coat's going to change. I've been keeping him stabled, as you do at home, because it just gets so wet and cold. And the lights have been on, like summertime lights, for the last three months. They've been clipped twice now. The lights have stayed on, and his coat has stayed really good. But I always find, coming from South Australia, then going to camp in Sydney, say, and flying out of Sydney, we get to Sydney in the winter time because all the summer games, obviously, winter time here, some overseas, and I get there on jester in the past and it's not as cold in Sydney and his coat starts falling out and he's clipped so he ends up bald so for me the coat issue is actually a really big problem coming from so cold then to the, the warmer climates they sometimes drop their coats a bit too soon end up bald so um, we've hopefully got him acclimatised for the summer light so he, when we get there he should just hold the coat that he's got and then he'll be fine. So you've been prepping him for this trip for a while? Yeah, I have been. <laughs> so with fingers crossed, hello beautiful. <laughs> yes, I have been. So and he knows he knows he's he's now the top dog and he loves it. So yeah. <laughs>